a mole ratio is a conversion factor or a fraction that we write to represent the number of moles of two different compounds and how they are related to each other. So just like how we write molar mass as the number of grams in one mole, the mole ratio is the number of moles of some substance over the number of moles of a different substance. And the way we figure that out is from a balanced chemical equation. So in this chemical equation, we see that it takes two moles of hydrogen to react with one mole of O2. Remember, when there's no coefficient, that's an invisible one. And when two moles of hydrogen react with one mole of oxygen, you'll make two moles of H2O. So we can write a couple mole ratios from this equation. First, we could write for two moles of H2, you'll produce two moles of H2O. That's one example of a mole ratio that we could write from this equation. And so just to show you where these numbers came from, the two moles of H2 came from the coefficient in front of H2. The two moles of H2O came from the 2 in front of H2O. We could also say, um, write a mole ratio for the moles of oxygen compared to the moles of H2O. So for this we could say one mole of O2 is needed to make two moles of H2O. Same idea, the coefficients tell us the number of moles, so for oxygen there's an invisible one here, that's where this one comes from, and again the two for H2O comes from the coefficient in front. So that's how you write mole ratios from a balanced equation. So these are the types of problems you'd have to solve using mole ratio. Number one asks, write three mole ratios from the balanced equation below. So it doesn't matter what compounds we choose, we can choose whatever ones we want, we just have to write three mole ratios. So let's do one for sodium and hydrogen. Well, the coefficient in front of Na is 2, and the coefficient in front of hydrogen is an invisible 1. So we could write this as 2 moles of Na for every 1 mole of H2. We could also write the inverse of this, meaning the opposite, one mole of H2 over two moles of Na. Or let's do a mole ratio between H2O and NaOH. We could write, since the coefficient in front of H2O is two, we could write two moles of H2O is needed to make two moles of NaOH. And it doesn't matter what compounds you choose. I'm just going to write two mole ratios, but you could do a third one as the inverse of either of these or any other two compounds together. Then number two says, using the equation above, if four moles of Na react with four moles of H2O, how many moles of H2 will be produced? Well, we have four moles of Na and four moles of H2O. How many moles of H2 will be produced? Now, you might be thinking, hmm, there's two givens. I'm not really sure where to start. Well, it doesn't matter, since both of them are going to tell you the same final answer. So you could set this up like a conversion factor. We could say four moles of Na, once again, doesn't matter what you start with, times a mole ratio where we convert from moles of Na to moles of our unknown, which is H2. Well, H2, uh, excuse me, Na has a coefficient of 2, as we saw up here. So we would write 2 moles of Na on the bottom so that the moles of Na cancel. And on the top, we would write the moles of H2, which in this case, from the equation is a 1, 1 mole of H2. If we do our unit cancellation, we're left with 4 times 1 over 2, which equals 2 
moles produced. Okay. And another way to think about this is since two moles are being produced, well look at the coefficient for H2, it's one. So two is twice as big as that. Well think about how many moles of reactants you start with. You start with four moles of each, which is double these coefficients. So if you have double the amount of reactants, you're going to make double the amount of products. So go ahead and give these two practice problems a shot. Pause the video right now. When you're done, you can watch the video to go over the answers. So for number three, any three mole ratios, it doesn't matter. Here's an example of one that would work. Two moles of Mg over two moles of MgO. If you used O2, the coefficient you would have to have would be a 1. Okay. For number 4, if 4 moles of Mg react with 2 moles of O2, how many moles of MgO will be produced? Well, you're given is 4 moles of Mg, or you could do o of O2. So we have to multiply this by a mole ratio. Moles of Mg in the problem uh, in the equation, excuse me, is 2 moles of mg. Right, we got to convert to our unknown as moles of mgo. Well, that's up here. 2 moles of mgo. So if you do the math, your final answer will be 4 times 2 divided by 2, which is equal to 4 moles. Again, the way you could check this, you have 4 moles of Mg and 2 moles of O2. Well, the coefficients of the problem are 2 and 1. If you double those, you'll get 4 and 2. So the amount of products you made better be double the coefficient. 2 times 2 gives you 4 moles. Either way gets you to the same answer. Go ahead, move on to the uh, iPod or your Chromebook to answer the exit ticket problems uh, for practice. If you have questions, call your teacher.